Tom, where are you? Why haven't you done anything I asked you to do? I am so sick and tired of having to tell you to get things done. Whoa, chill out, Serena. Why are you so mad? What the hell are you talking about anyway? What am I talking about? About our wedding, of course. You haven't even looked at the list of venue candidates I gave you, and I told you we needed to decide now. You were the one who said having the wedding before summer was best. We don't have any time. Oh, that. Go ahead and choose wherever you like. You're going to have an opinion on anywhere I pick anyway. There's no point for me to look. What? How can you be so negligent about your own wedding? Can you at least try to show some enthusiasm? I'm getting very worried about this whole marriage. You don't want to participate at all. I know you were playing that stupid game on your phone when we had a meeting with the planner last week. Do you even want to do any of this? Serena, I'm telling you, you can decide. I don't have any preferences, so you can make it your own dream wedding. Isn't that what you want? I trust your taste in these things, so I'll leave it up to you. Don't you think that's a little irresponsible? I'm really not happy about how you always throw everything on my plate. I don't know if you remember, but I told you that I was okay with having a very small ceremony. I even asked what you thought of a city hall wedding. You are the one who preferred to throw a bigger ceremony, not me. Well, it is, isn't it? That's what everyone else is doing. Why do I have to have a city hall wedding when all my friends are throwing extravagant parties? How do you think that's going to make me look? Well, then if that's the case, you need to partake in it. I can't be the only one putting effort into throwing such a big event. I work too, you know. I've been using up all my free time researching for the wedding. You're being so dramatic, Serena. Besides, when are you not busy? You don't have to rub it in that you're a successful businesswoman. I'm not rubbing anything in, but if you understand that I'm a busy person, why can't you understand that you need to participate too? All right, calm down. I read that being angry all the time speeds up aging and it increases wrinkles for obvious reasons. If that were true, I would look older than my grandmother by tomorrow. You do not understand how stressed I am right now. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I will make sure to explore the list you gave me and pay attention during our next meeting. I promise. Thank you. But I still wish you'd have done so before I said anything. I was so embarrassed last week. You know, put your phone away next time. I'm sorry, but the meeting with the planner was so boring, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, Serena, I think you've been too sensitive lately. We've been together long enough for you to know how laid back I am. Why have you been so feisty with me? Work has been impossible lately. I've been working 13, 14 hours every day. I'm going crazy. Oh, that is intense. I could never live like that, but it comes with the profession, doesn't it? You should be proud that you have such a high-demand job. I am proud, but that doesn't help me much right now. What would really help is that you do your part in planning our wedding. So are you going to do this for me, or what? Yes, I will. I'll start tonight as soon as I get home. I promise. Guess what, Serena? What is it? I went to the fortune teller with friends for some entertainment. You know what she told me? She asked if I was getting married soon, so I said yes. Then she goes, you should really wait on that. Can you believe that? I mean, a little too late, right? We only have a few months left. Ha ha, funny. Hey, what's with the attitude? What is your problem now? Well, you know, you're laughing about our wedding, which I, and I only, have been planning while you go out and have fun with your friends. So yeah, I'm annoyed. A bit. Especially because you never keep your promises. Huh? When did I ever break a promise? Wow, you don't even remember? You never helped me pick out the venue. You never participated at the meeting with the planner. I'm starting to wonder if I'm getting married to myself. <sighs> What are you talking about? I did go to the meeting with the planner a couple of months ago. Don't you remember? How can you say I never showed? I said you never participated. And it was just that one time after I told you about playing games on your phone. 
Well, you told me not to talk to the planner anymore. That's why I stopped going. I can't believe you got jealous of your own wedding planner. You really must have it bad for me. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was not jealous of her. You were being totally inappropriate to her. I told you not to talk to her so that she doesn't feel uncomfortable. Who asks their planner if she is a boyfriend or not? Or for her size? Are you out of your mind? Seriously, give me a break. You have to admit, though, she was hot. I can't believe I didn't see it the very first time. I must have been serious about playing that game. I mean, her face, her rack. Did you see her ass, too? She must work out or something, right? So you were actually checking her out, huh? How inappropriate. You are gross. I was, but you know, I think she's sleazy. Show her some money or something and she'd be an easy pickup. I can tell. Tom, seriously, cut it out. I can't believe you think it's okay to act like this. It is rude to me and to our planner. I'm just trying to explain why I don't attend the meetings anymore, that's all. I can't concentrate because of her rack. Or would you rather have me stare at them the whole time? Stop it now. See? Let's just stop talking about our planner at all, please. All right, fine. By the way, what's the status on the ring? You told me you wanted to choose our wedding rings months ago. Have you even picked a pair? You said you were going to pay for the both of us. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? I kind of forgot I really don't have the money to buy us a pair this month. You never have enough money, Tom, because you don't plan ahead. Well, I wish you would have reminded me sooner. My cash is all gone because I just bought a motorcycle. We need it at the wedding, right? Do you think you can pay for it? You can choose whichever one you want. How did I know this was going to happen? You know what, forget it. Please? In fact, Serena, I don't have any cash at all to spend on our wedding. Do you think you can handle the majority of it? What do you mean, handle most of it? I tried to save as much as possible for the party, but I couldn't. Please tell me you're joking. You said you had some separate savings when you proposed. That's why you wanted to have a bigger wedding in the first place, right? I used to have, like, a grand in my other account. Excuse me? A grand? You thought you can throw a wedding under a grand? I honestly didn't know. But hey, at least you have money to pay for it, right? We can still go ahead with our plan. Let me get this straight. Not only do you want me to handle 100% of preparations for the wedding, but on top of it, you want me to pay 100% of it? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I could pitch in a couple dollars. All right, that's it. If you're not contributing, you never should have asked to throw one. I can't believe we're even having this conversation. Well, I couldn't back out because you seemed excited about it. I might have been at first, but clearly not anymore. I never imagined that you'd ask me to do and pay for everything. You need to contribute somehow, Tom, if you want to even have a wedding. This is the last time I'm asking. If you don't, then I am canceling the wedding. Oh, come on, don't be so angry. We might as well throw the wedding since we've come this far. Can you pay for it now? I'll pay you back, I promise. Are you sure? I don't know if I can trust you anymore. I promise, I swear. I'll have to give it some thought. I hope you know that you're giving me a headache, Tom. Serena, have you arrived at the venue already? I don't think I can make it. I just don't feel like getting married anymore. Oh, who was supposed to get married today? Huh? What are you talking about? Today is our wedding day, right? Uh, are you drunk or something? No, I am as sober as ever. We don't have any plans for a wedding at all. I guess I forgot to mention that the venue has been canceled a long time ago. Such a waste of time and money. Besides, who would want to marry you anyway? Cancelled? I thought you'd been preparing for it all this time. I warned you that I was calling it quits if you didn't contribute. After that conversation, what did you do? Nothing. So I did exactly what I said I'd do. I wasn't going to waste any more of my time. 
So that's it? You just dropped everything? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? If you had involved yourself more in the process, I'm sure you would have realized there was no wedding anymore. But of course, you were caught up with other important things. I've been really busy lately. So was I. But unlike you, I made the time to prepare because it was important to me. Or at least that's what I thought initially. For you, it was never important, was it? Hanging out with your friends and getting drunk was so much more fun for you, right? Wait, what about our parents? Do they know about this? Yes, of course. Why would I embarrass them? I told them when I canceled the venue. So then I'm the only one who didn't know? I thought you would at least have one conversation with them before today to discuss matters. But I guess you were too dependent on me even to communicate with your own parents. Seriously though, you are actually dumb for not realizing until today. I wasn't being dependent, I just entrusted everything to you because you're better at it. No, you just dumped it all on my plate because you are too lazy. Anyway, I never sent out any invitation to anyone, so no one even knows that it was originally scheduled for today. Unless you spoke to your friends about it, which I assume you didn't since you had zero interest in it. The only people I was going to invite were friends from my hometown. I told them I was getting married when I last saw them, but I haven't spoken to them since. I thought you'd sent them invitations. How? <laughs> I don't even know their address, you dumbass. But of course, those were the only friends you were going to invite. You never made friends close enough to invite to the wedding since you moved into the city. No one wants to hang out with a loser like you. That's not true. My friends from high school are my only true friends, that's all. Sure, whatever. Still, you didn't find it odd that I've recently stopped mentioning the wedding? Or that I stopped talking to you at all? I just thought you were stressed or something, you know, from work and planning the wedding and all. <laughs> you thought, but didn't do anything about it because you didn't care about me. It was never just about the wedding. You are simply not interested in me. I should have seen it much sooner. To think about it now, you were totally okay with not talking to me for days. You only want me around when you need me. You were never interested in what I want or care about my feelings. It's so stupid that I thought you actually wanted to marry me. All right, whatever, Serena. Like I said, I don't feel like getting married anymore, so I'm fine about not having a wedding. But you still should have told me beforehand. We should try to communicate a little more as a couple, don't you think? <laughs> you are funny. A couple? No, we are done. We have been done for a while. You just didn't know. What? Of course we're a couple. No, I could never trust you as my partner. You're only a burden to me. I don't want you anymore. Serena, come on. Why would you say such a thing? We've been together for so long. You can't break up with me over this. Yes, I totally can. If you need me to say it clearly, I will. We are done. We've been done long ago, but this is it. Goodbye, Tom. Hey, cut it out. What the hell, Serena? You can't be serious. Why wouldn't I be? Why don't you want to break up with me? You don't feel like getting married to me, but you want to keep me? What good is that going to do me, huh? I didn't want to get married today because it's too much to deal with. The whole wedding thing is too annoying. But I wasn't saying we should break up as a couple. You should be embarrassed of yourself, you pig. If you had ever pulled a no-show to our wedding, I would have beaten you to death. I would have never forgiven you. But I'm not the one who canceled the wedding. In the end, you're the one who called it off. That means neither of us wanted to have a wedding after all. So you saved both our asses. There's nothing to fuss about. I didn't call off the wedding for you. I did that for myself and everyone else's sake. Anyway, as I said, we are done. I have nothing more to talk to you about. Goodbye, Tom. No. No, Serena, you can't just run from me like that. There's no way we're breaking up. You only want to keep me for my income. Well, guess what? It doesn't work that way. I refuse to be your ATM. What else have you got, woman? 
You know, you should appreciate that you ever got to date me. There are plenty of women out there who would do anything to take your spot. You have such pride in yourself, but the truth is that you are useless. I couldn't be happier to hand you over if there are, in fact, other women who would want you. You should ask them out instead of wasting time on me. Sweetheart, are you trying to act strong? Uh, no. For your information, I decided to cancel the wedding much sooner than you think. It was hilarious watching you boast to the people around you how you were throwing a huge wedding. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of it, so thanks. What the hell? You deliberately made me look like a fool? Is that what you're saying? Yes, absolutely. How can you embarrass me like that? People are going to think of me as a loser now. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? Stop it! People are going to think that you were the only one who was ever interested in getting married. Everyone will see you as a pity little daydreamer. How can you ruin my reputation? Your reputation is ruined indeed. <laughs> you ugly bitch. Don't you dare tell people that you canceled the wedding without telling me. You're calling me ugly? You have the ugliest, most twisted personality ever. On top of that, you are a pathetic, sloppy loser. That's it. I've had enough of you. You want to break up? Fine. We are done. I'm leaving you, and it's not the other way around, so don't get it wrong. Oh, wow. Still trying to protect your pride? What scum. Sure, believe whatever you want. Let's all hope that others see it your way, too. Serena! You are such a bitch. What have you been telling people? Huh? What are you talking about? There's a rumor going around about me. What did you do? Who have you talked to? Oh, you must be talking about me seeing one of your former colleagues in town. She asked me when the wedding was, so I told her that we've none planned. Why did you say it like that? People now think that I was planning a wedding for myself. Yeah, I guess that's what she must have thought, too. I mean, she was like, oh, yikes. It's really creepy if you were planning a wedding without me, isn't it? <laughs> you nasty witch. What else did you say to bring my reputation down, huh? I don't recall saying anything besides the truth. I told her that we weren't planning anything because we broke up. That's all. You must have made it sound like you broke up with me, though, because no matter how I explain things, everyone says that you must have broken up with me and not the other way around. Why won't anyone believe what I say? What did you do? Nothing. They just know the chances are much higher that you got dumped because of how you are. It's called karma, Tom. Your friends simply know what kind of person you are. You know, I've been told by some of your close friends before that I shouldn't stick around with you. I don't understand. My best friend said I'm not surprised she dumped you before I even finished giving him my side of the story. Why is my reputation so bad in the first place? I've done nothing. Why do they all think you are better than me? Because I am. I have lived decently enough that people trust me, unlike you. Don't you know what people call you? What? People refer to you as my pet. Your pet? Yeah, although I never thought of you as something so cute or obedient. A pet is important, you know? They're a member of the family. That is far from what you used to be. You're more like a nasty pest taking advantage of me in my home. I should have gotten rid of you so much sooner. Excuse me? Did you just call me a pest? I let you in my life. You're a nobody without me. I really don't know how you could be so full of yourself. Why can't you just accept it? I broke up with you. You are being thrown. Shut up. I know you must have had a smirk on your face when you told me you weren't going to show up at the wedding. You wanted to feel good about yourself by making me beg. You wanted to think that you can control me. Well, didn't you fail miserably? 
Stop it right there, you bitch. You want to call me a nobody? Well, think again, because the only nobody around here is you. You can't even keep a decent life without my help. That's not true. I am so much better off without you. Yeah, right. When was the last time you paid for dinner? You're always broke because you use it all on drinking. Don't you remember I've been paying for everything recently? Shut up. I know how to manage my own money. I was just using yours because it was convenient. Mm-hmm. Sure. I hope you can pay for your own rent going forward. Of course, that would require you to cut back on drinks. Do you think you can manage, honey? Be quiet, you bitch! It's none of your damn business now since we broke up, remember? You're right. So I am 100% done looking after you. I am so glad I don't have to use a single penny on a bastard like you anymore. You're gonna miss me, you know. But you can never have me back. Me? Miss you? <laughs> you just watch. You are going to regret it quickly, I know it! The only regret is that I ever thought of marrying a scumbag like you. What a waste of time and money. I can't believe myself for letting you treat me like crap all this time. I should have left you years ago. I understand now that no matter how long we stay together, you would never do anything for me or even try to make me happy. So if that's the case, it's easier for me to just handle everything on my own. That way, at least I won't have to drag a burden around. So goodbye, loser. Good luck with your life without me. After our breakup, Tom had tried to recover his reputation by telling people that he broke things off with me. But of course, his friends and family all knew he was lying, so all he did was make his situation worse. It made him look like a fool more so than he already was and left him a loner. On top of that, he ended up losing control of his spending since he no longer had me to warn him. Being the irresponsible person that he is, he never paid his utility bills, so he had lost his lifeline and had to ask the very few friends that he had left for money to get them running again. He'll probably never be able to regain his trust from the people that were once around him. On the other hand, I decided to restart my life anew. I moved to another city and found a new job since I was seeking for an opportunity to step up anyway. I now work at a well-known firm where I get to be a part of global projects. I am proud to say that I'm getting great reviews at work, which has helped me regain my self-confidence I once lost from the experience with Tom. My friends tell me that he would only have been a burden no matter where I went, and that it was the best move for me to get rid of him. I couldn't agree more, and I'm so glad that I broke up with him sooner than later, because I truly believe that it led to my current success. I know it'll take time to completely get over the horrible memories of Tom, but when I do one day, I hope I find someone I love who also loves me back.